Hey everyone, welcome to the 125th, that's right, 125 Confidential episodes of the Animated Girls Profile Confidential. And today we're going to talk about Sunny Star Scout. That's right, Sunny Star Scout um, of My Little Pony, uh, New Generation, My Little Pony, um, Tell Your Tale, My Little Pony. Uh, Make Your Mark, which is both the name of the special coming up in May and the series in September. Um, yeah, Sunny Star Scout, who was originally voiced, she's going to have a different voice actress um, in the series, in the specials, as, as if you will. But Sunny Star Scout was originally voiced by Vanessa Hudgens, uh, who is known for her time, I think, doing um, high school musical. Uh, movies as well as I think she made a few appearances elsewhere. She's had a few uh, singles uh, throughout her career and albums. Very good singer, there's no doubt. Very good singer. Uh, voice actress wise, I thought she did a good job with Sunny. Um, I haven't seen her act on camera basically, but I'm sure if she did the job she did uh, for Sunny as well as as well as we uh, heard and saw, then I'm pretty sure she can do a decent job as uh, basically an, an on-screen actress. There's no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, Sunny Star Scout, I, I think honestly is going to be a very good lead protagonist. There is no getting around that. I mean, her story uh, in the movie to me is just the tip of the iceberg of what we are going to get. Now, true, bit of spoilers here, bit of spoilers, true, was her ascension at the end to, I guess you could say, Alicorn status, you know, rushed? You could say that, but the way people have been looking at her Alicorn status, a lot of people have come out and said that that's not, you know, on the levels of a Twilight Sparkle, you know, when she became an Alicorn. That instead, it's kind of like a, a power that Sunny will call upon when she needs to. Or it's a symbolism of this is what you're going to become when your destiny is truly fulfilled. In other words, like when everything is, you know, restored to what it once was generations ago. But Sunny overall, like I said, is a character, you know, her, you know, the development she had from beginning, middle and end in the movie, like I said, is the tip of the iceberg. I know we're going to get more with the Make Your Mark special and series. We might get a hint and Tell Your Tale, but from what I can understand, Tell Your Tale is going to be a short series, a short episodic series on YouTube. And it's going to be more like, and it might be more, you know, just single character focused and maybe it's the telling stories, you know, of certain things in the past and the putting themselves into the environment, which is why we get the Cal art style of animation for it. I don't really know, um, but it's going to be um, it's going to be interesting to see how she develops through that. But I think her main development, um, you know, carrying you know carrying uh, um, off from the movie or carrying on, I should say, from the movie, not off, but carrying on from the movie. Her main character development is going to be in the special, which is supposed to be a direct follow up to the movie, as well as in the series. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be kind of uh, a unique, uh, it's going to be a unique kind of journey for us as fans to see exactly where they take her uh, going forward. But yeah, the character I think is, a, the character overall I, I truly liked because she's very optimistic, very positive, you know, she she basically believe her basically the belief she has the belief she has along with her father at the beginning and throughout the film I think is great I think it's great because you know she obviously you know through her father teaching her and everything she obviously you know knows that something is not you know something is not right like something is amiss something is just you know not clicking or anything um you know, with, you know, with the world, like, you know, why? It's like, why is this happening? Why did, you know, when did it happen? What caused it? You know, and she, she just wants to fix it, you know, try to get it fixed so that people, so that all pony races can once again be together 
And then, as we'll probably see in the special and then later on in the series, start to try to answer the questions as to why did this happen in the first place, who was responsible, stuff like that. So, like I said, her development in the movie is just the tip of the iceberg, and it's going to be further developed later on in the special in the series. And I think her status as an alicorn at the end, you know, with the translucent rings and horn, I think that's just symbolism. That's just like a way of telling her this is what your destiny is going to be when it's all set, when it's fulfilled. Like this is your destination. This is where you're heading. You know, when, when you fulfill your destiny, when you get things back, as I mentioned earlier, back to the status quo that it once was. But her character, I think, is very, very good. I think her char character overall is very, very good. Because like I said, she's very optimistic. She's very positive. She tries to spread a positive message. And she's determined. She's a very determined pony. And she's very, and one thing Jack's Blade pointed out about her when the, they were doing Brony's reacts, they, they were doing a Brony reacts on the movie, is her smugness. You know, she always gets that look on her face like, oh yeah, you think, it's like, yeah, you know, you think you got me or you think I'm not listening or anything or whatever. You know, she gets that smugness that sometimes could be to her detriment, but most time does back her up a little bit because. She, she has this confidence in the belief that she knows what she's doing is right. And she can basically transmit that, if you will, pass that on to the friends that she makes. Like she can pass it on to Izzy, who passes it on to Pip, who, you know, well, yeah, basically she passes it on to Izzy, who passes it on to, uh, who can pass it on to Hitch, if you will. And, then you get that same kind of belief and enthusiasm through Zip, who could pass that on to her sister and, and such. And then Pip, through you know, what she's about, can pass that on to every, every other pony out there. It's kind of send the message to her music of, hey, we need to be together. We need to work together to make a better world. And that's what makes Sunny a great character, is she has that, like I said, that optimism and that belief even that, you know, what she is doing is right, and she know, and through the smugness that she sometimes has, that, again, like I said, does at times go to her detriment, but most time works in her favor, is because she knows that what she's not only doing is right, but if she, you know, gets others to go along with her, they could pass that message on, on, and, you know, step by step, they could start kind of rebuilding the world to what it once was. Um, in status, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, her character, like I said, is very well, very well written, in my opinion. Very well written. And very, like I said, very optimistic, very positive, very enthusiastic, very outgoing. I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the, the one scene, you know, at the beginning of the film where it looks like Hitch has gotten her to, you know, go back home or something like that after she drops off, you know, like the desserts, the ice creams at the catalogic uh, event, if you will. The fact that she just roller, roller skates back a little bit and she has this smug look on her face. I think Lost Narrator said it best, like, oh, this girl knows she's like a couple of steps ahead. <laughs> you know, it's like she knows she's a couple of steps ahead of these two um, individuals, that being Hitch and Sprout. So, so yeah, you know, again, again, you know, very, very enthusiastic, very outgoing. She can be very mischiefy too. And again, that smugness, like I said, will work to her detriment, but also mostly work in her favor, not only to her optimism and her positiveness, but her mischievousness, because she always finds a way to get something, to get, you know, get through to something, or, or not get through to something, but try to get her message across. Which again, in this case, is a good message, that it doesn't matter, you know, what race you are, or what color you are, or anything, we all should try to get along. We should try to give each other a chance. And I like that message here. And the one thing that they, one thing a lot of people have praised about her character, because they weren't too sure about, you know, her character when it was first described, is it's not the kind of character that pushes the agenda in your face. 
You know, she just does her thing once or twi- once or twice in a movie, but mostly once at the cantalo- at the cantalogic event. She pushes her. You know, she does her thing only once, but you know, throughout the movie, she lets that message slowly perpetrate or perpetrate. I should say not perpetrate, but perpetrate throughout the the film. And like I said, it's the kind of message that she knows. You know, she could pass on to others, and they will pass on to those they encounter as well through their own, you know, through their own unique ways. You know, Izzy, her creativity. You know, uh, Pip, her music. Zip, you know, you know, her adventurous, outgoing stuff like that. Um, Hitch, through being a, 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 per, a pony of the law. You know, he could. You know, they could. You know, get that message out out there. And to me, like I said. The character development that she's had so far throughout the movie is only this is only the beginning. We're only at the tip of the iceberg. It's just going to slowly, you know, start building throughout the run of the series, and it's going to start with the uh, special, which is the same name as the series, which is Make Your Mark. Uh, but overall, I like the character. I really do. And I can't. I can't wait for the series. I mean, I know some people kind of like questionable about not only the the series and the change in voice actors and actresses, but they're still kind of iffy about the characters. I mean, I know Josh Berner, a.k.a. Firebrand, who's still a fan, is still kind of questionable uh, about the series and everything. But I'm sure, you know, him being a fan, he may have not liked the movie, but he might give the series a chance. Like, he might, you know, give the, the series and the special a chance because... You know, the movie may not do it, because here's the thing, movies, you know, that are basically catalyst, you know, for uh, upcoming shows and all that, they may not do it at first for somebody, but when the show comes out later on, maybe in this case starting with a special, like, you know, G5 will, that might be a different story, like, okay, the, ser- the movie didn't do it for them, but maybe the special and the series may redeem what was lost. And I think Josh will probably give this a chance. He'll look at the special and be like, okay, let's see if this can redeem what the movie failed to achieve. And then maybe he'll also look at, like I said, the series and be like, okay, if the special doesn't do it, I'll see what the series does and go from there. But uh, overall, but overall, like I said, Sonny, um, as a character, you know, um, I think it's great. I thought it was great. I thought she was a great character in the movie. Again, positive, optimistic, mischievous at times. The smugness that she sometimes has is, you know, at times at a detriment, but at most times, you know, does go in her favor. Because, you know, it's, it's a smugness of confidence knowing that she's doing the right thing or trying to do the right thing and trying to pass on a very positive message. So overall, I like her character. And I can't wait to see that character development that was, you know, built throughout the movie. That's the tip of the iceberg, you know, really get further developed and built upon in the special and the series. But what do you guys think about Sunny Star Scout? How do you feel about the character overall, how she was presented in the movie? Do you believe it is just the tip of the iceberg for her as we head towards the special and the series later this year? Let me know down below in the comments as well as in the live chat during the premiere where Super Chat and Super Stickers are open and would be appreciated, whatever you guys can do. Also, check me out at my podcast at at BW Rose's Discussions and Lessons at all your various favorite podcast locations except for Pandora. Also, check me out at Vimo at BW Rose's uh, for content you can't get anywhere else except there due to copyright reasons. Also, check me out at patreon.com slash bwrosa support me with a one dollar three dollar tier also check me out at divanart.com slash bvw 1979 also check me out at venmo at brian dash walmer dash two and at cash app at bwrosa 98 uh, but anyway though guys that's all i'm going to say on this and thank you all for watching the 125th edition of the Animated Girl Profile Confidentials. Who is next? We'll have to wait and see. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you all later.